Hey everyone, Pastor Stump with another daily reflection on the Still Speaking devotional from United Church of Christ. Uh, today's was another really good one for me. Uh, I connect to some of them more than others, and this one I definitely connected to a great deal today. Often uh, when people talk to me about problems or I see problems within a church or or faith community or denomination or the Christian uh, community abroad, I, I think I have the solution sometimes, or I think that with my education and training, I may know one of the answers or a possible solution. Uh, I wouldn't be worth any bit of salary that I get if I didn't have some of those solutions. But I realize also that part of my training and part of my experience with God is to know to just be present with people at times, to to maybe guide them, maybe offer some counsel and advice at times, but also more importantly and most importantly, uh, to listen and be present with them as God is with us. Uh, I said in another video I recorded today for a short kind of bonus sermon for the week that God is not some cosmic wish granter, and certainly your pastors and spiritual directors in your life are not as well. Speaking of spiritual directors, I do want people to know that I do frequently visit a spiritual director uh, so that I can improve upon my own personal connection to God and take that time to be with God alone with someone else present helping to facilitate that. And we do that in a variety of ways. We may sit together uh, and actually read poetry. Uh, we may pray, we may sit in silence. Oftentimes I, I talk and she listens and and ask me questions about what I'm talking about, but it helps me uh, focus on my personal relationship with God, my connection to God, because so often I'm worried about facilitating that for others. And you can, uh, at times as a pastor, neglect that in yourself. So I want you to know I do that. Uh, that's a, something that is important for myself and my profession, and it's important that my colleagues are doing that as well, as best they are able. Uh, but back to kind of the heart of this, uh, when you don't know how to fix something even, it's it's okay to not know. And just to sit with someone through that as we um, go through the many different uh, perspectives and things we're hearing about the coronavirus, for example, people are going to approach this in different ways. People are going to react to it in different ways. And it's important that we we try to honor and respect that as much as we can amongst ourselves to not point fingers or name call for someone who might be reacting to it in a different way, but also to speak with reason to people, to trust uh, the science, to react to the science uh, and the advice given by professionals and to do something, uh, as, even if that is just to be present and listen with people who are worried and anxious about this, uh, to understand that there are things bigger than ourselves and our, our communal health is very important to that. So one of the things I'm uh, practicing this week and in the future is, is to be present for people and listen to their concerns around this and other health issues as well in their life. Uh, and I encourage you uh, to not just rely on your pastors to do that, but to do that for one another in whatever congregation you may uh, be in. We're all uh, called in the Protestant faith to be uh, you know, called to the priesthood of all believers, that we all have spiritual gifts and roles to share and ways to minister to people. And sometimes that is to just a ministry of presence, of a non-anxious presence in, in the times of trouble in our life. And so I think of that for, fourth person in the story today being a non-anxious presence when the fire raged around them uh, and, and not being necessarily the one to put out the fire, but to be there with us through that. And so I hope that we can do that for others that when we're unable or we should not put out the fire that we're at least able to show up and be with them. I can tell you as a person who has literally stood beside people as their house was on fire, uh, how important that is uh, to be there with them, to pray with them and, and to just, just to stand with people at times in their times of trouble. So I uh, hope you are all having a good week I hope that you are sensing a non-anxious presence in your life and that you can be that for someone as well. Take care, church.